Hey there everyone, my name is Lucky Chapman from the Guys Who Play Games, back with some more Pokemon Crystal Randomizer. And Herpes is up and roaring with his, uh, his beak. I don't even want to know what's he drilling with, but, uh, let's just assume it's good. Also, uh, I got rid of Present for Body Slam, because, I mean, Present's a cool move, but, I mean, come on, it's Body Slam. I have, that's actual paralysis now, eh? That's pretty good. Oh man, look at you, Kurt, you're running off. And the music stops to play a sound effect. Which I'm not sure if it's not, is like a limitation or just, I don't know. It's kind of weird, but I mean, you know, whatever. Uh, I mean, why not? Let's show off herpes. Do, do, do. Man, I love the Team Rocket battle music in this game. It's so good. He's got a Fero, wow. And it's level 10, because, um... Normally it'd only be like level 9, I think, actually. I think, yeah, all the Pokemon here are like level like 9. Other than like the female grunt and like the big head honcho grunt at the back. That's like level 13 or something. Borygon. Man, the animations in this game are so good. Like, I, I, I don't know. It's just like, to me, it's just like, I've always thought that the animations in Crystal are like the best in this series. Like, the move animations, maybe I could see some people not liking, because, like, they're a bit primitive, but, like, I like what they do with a lot of them. Like, Psychic is really good in this game, because it actually, like, distorts the screen. Are you serious? Are you double serious? So, I just want everyone to be aware that the default encounter rate for Slowpoke Well is 2%. So I'm not sure if that's just bad luck that I found it, or if it's actually altered the encounter rates. Like, that's so weird, like... I, I, I don't know, it's, it's just freaking me out, you know? Anyways, we got Raticate. Seeing a level 10 Raticate immediately reminds me of that one Rocket Grunt in Red Blue that has like a level 15 Raticate who just destroys you if you're not aware of him. I'm sure many a player back in the day was just strolling along, minding their own business, when all of a sudden the level 15 Raticate comes out and destroys you with Hyper Fang. Like, what do you have at that point? If you're lucky, maybe your starter's evolved at that point. It has Shadow Ball. Ooh. It's pretty strong. But yeah, like... That's kind of a... A, a lot of things with the early Pokemon games is that... I don't know. I guess they're less consistent, in a way. That's the best way I can put it. But in a way, that almost makes it more endearing. Like, you don't know when all of a sudden a super strong trainer is going to, like, stomp you. That doesn't happen very often, especially in this game, because this game is really easy. Like, gold, silver, crystal's sense of balance... I I'm not going to say it's bad. It's not bad. I don't think it's bad at all. It's just, it's very much... I don't think Drupal is going to kill, by the way. Ooh, it one-shots the Seija. That's pretty good. But, like, it takes a very realistic approach, I guess, is the best way to put it. Y you don't see that at first. Like, it just seems kind of easy. But you do start seeing that once you get to Kanto and with the levels of trainers. But we'll get to that when we get to that. For now, we're fighting... Ooh, Farfetch'd. Um, I mean, at this point. Fortress. Farfetch'd. Look at you, Farfetch. You got that leak in your mouth. This definitely does not remind me of a certain other game series where the goal is to collect stars that are, you know, actually just leaks, but you know, I don't, I don't know, it's kind of inconsistent what you call them at times. Either way, we got Mr. Rocket Grunt here. I'm actually going to save before him. Because I think he's normally level 14? It's either 13 or 14. And then he should get bumped up a level. Oh my god, and it's a Zapdos. Damn! I wish I had a rock move. Well, I can paralyze. Oh, of course I don't paralyze. See, the joke is that Body Slam has like a 30% chance of paralyzing, but I swear to god it always paralyzes. Like, it's 30%, but I feel like it's almost... It's the same thing with a lot of, like, poison moves. Like. I think most poison moves are 30%, but I swear it is like they always poison. 
and the fact that it's not poisoning right now is actually kind of amazing. Anyways, how much is this going to do? Aerodactyl has, like, no special attack, but, I mean, it's cursed up. Burn! That has a 50% chance of burning. What is happening? Status effects aren't happening? What? That's crazy. No status effects, and they're all, like, 30% and 50%. How often does that happen? It's actually kind of incredible. You know, okay today, but wait until next time. Ga 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 ga. Anyways, here comes Kurt. Oh, I didn't read the mail. Well, I mean, I would have just sped through it, but you know, whatever. All right, so I get a lure ball. I guess that's not randomized. You always get the lure ball, right? Oh yeah, I also got amnesia as a TM. I don't remember when I picked this up, but um. I do actually want to use this, just for now. Like, I'll teach it to Leela, because what do I have? I have... Uh, I'll get rid of Bite, because I mean, I, I feel like I never use it anyways. Anyways, yeah, I did some shopping, I did all the basics, so I'm gonna... Go heal. I could do the rival fight right now. But I feel like I'd rather just do the gym first. Like, the rival fight's always hard, because like... Like, in this version of the game, his Pokemon aren't, aren't that high level. Like, they're 12, 14, and 16, which I guess get bumped up to probably 13, 16, and 19, but... Or I guess 13, 15, and 17. I don't know why I went multiples of threes there. That's weird. Um... I mean, I guess I could. I don't know. Do I dare? Yeah, let's... Let's dare. I got lots of money. But I'm still gonna save it for him. I think he still has the Mewtwo, right? Yeah. So I made sure, I, I'm pretty sure I already mentioned this, but I made sure that the rival still has Mewtwo in the, in the randomized version, because I mean, I felt like, you know, come on. That's like, almost like a thing at this point. He's got to have Mewtwo. Because I didn't pick Mewtwo, because I didn't want the game to be easy. Uh, yeah, this seems like a good time to amnesia. Let's, let's sweep with Starmie. Let's go, your charm means nothing to Starmie. I'll just crunch ya, launch ya. That won't kill. Because it's Mr. Mime, and he has good special defense. Goes down, Mr. Mime. It's funny how silly things seem in hindsight. But, like, at the time, Mr. Mime was called Mr. Mime, because there's no genders, right? And then all of a sudden, oh, there's genders. Now it just seems kind of weird. Oh, the Thunder Wave miss. So, you may be wondering, what the heck? How does Thunder Wave miss? How does it miss twice in a row? It has 100% accuracy. Well, you see, in both Gen 1 and Gen 2, there is a special clause that makes it so that when the AI uses... I think it actually affects pretty much every... In this game, I think it affects all status moves except... Supersonic and Confuse Right, moves that inflict confusion. But basically, moves that inflict status like that have a special clause where the game first does like a, a check to see if it actually successfully uses it and that check is like 25% chance to fail so every status move used by the AI in gen 1 and 2 has an additional 25% chance of failing and as for why that's the case um I'm not entirely sure I guess they just figured it'd be easier also level 18 huh I guess they figured it'd just be a nice little bit extra thing for the player makes it a little easier wow that did a lot please poison because this definitely isn't gonna two hit wow look me i know me too stats are good but come on that affects a couple extra things but the big thing is yeah the ai generally has a bad time with status moves i'm gonna actually heal yeah because I want forces to get this experience, and Mewtwo is kind of scary. Boom, that'll hurt. I kind of run out of things to say. But I mean, you know, what is it to say when I'm sitting here? Are you kidding me? I want Fortress to get some experience! Out comes Houndour with his experience here to hog, like, all of it. Look at that. What a pig. Ah, uh, whatever. Rivals doesn't like weak Pokemon, but constantly is like, oh, my life don't like Bricklings, and then, you know, he's, he never wins. Although, I think he beat me the first time, because Hunter had Fire Spin, which does nothing. 
Like, let me check. I forget if I randomize that stuff too. Let me. Well, I mean, I didn't randomize the moves, but like, yeah, no. There's a thing in the randomizer you can basically update moves, and fire spin actually is better in later gens, which is what I was thinking of. Uh, but no, I didn't do that because I don't know. Why would I? That's that's for losers. Who who wants to make it easier on myself? I'm gonna take this off for now because Hundara already is level 18. Hundara evolves at a really low level, and I don't get that. A lot of Johto Pokemon evolve r at really low levels, but it's like. I don't know why, because like in the case of Houndar, you can't find him till Kanto, and like it's not like you find him at a high level. You don't find him at like level, you know, high twenties. You find him in like the teens, but like it's like I don't know why they evolve so low. Like Azumarill is the same thing. Meryl evolves at level eighteen, and then they evolve. They added a baby Pokemon that evolves with friendship, so it's like. In like 99% of cases where you start with a Zoomeril, or I guess just a Zoomeril now is its name. I don't know why I forgot that. But it's like a Zoomeril is like by the time you evolve it with friendship, it's probably gonna be past level 18. So you have Meryl for like one level, and it's kind of like almost like a flaw. But like it's kind of the same thing with Golbat, or like because they added a friendship evolution, it's cool. But like 90% of the time you have Golbat for like one or two levels, and then he's evolved. And, like, Crobat is so good. Like, I think up until, like... It's, like, a long time for Crobat to not be, like, the best Poison-type Pokemon. It's actually kind of sad. I think Crobat has, like, a base stat total of, like, 535 or something. And that was, like, the highest of every single Poison-type Pokemon. Because there was no Poison-type Legendaries, and they just didn't add a lot of really good Poison Pokemon, so... Um, let's see. Yeah, you can see here that part of the thing makes the stat screen faster, which is really nice. Anyways. Like, I'm saving a lot, and, like, it's gonna suck if, like, one of these recordings fails, but, like, I'm just gonna bank on that not happening, and... I mean, come on. What are the chances? Anyways, here's... Pa really? I think in the original game, this guy has a Paris! That's actually hilarious. Too bad that since you're a Paris, you're totally dead. Huge critical hit! Wow, that murders it. Paris and Parasect are kind of hilarious. Like in Gen One, they had three different weaknesses. Damn Spinner, because Poison and Bug were super effective against each other in Gen One for reasons I don't know why. But you know, that's one of those things where people are like, "Oh, that's a bug," and it's like. Just because they changed it does not mean that uh, it's a bug. I mean, because it's a kind of a case of how do you mistakenly program two different things to work against each other like that? You know, like, it's not like it's just one little thing. They did that for both bug and poison are super effective against each other. I didn't see the Pokemon. And it's like, how exactly is that a mistake? You know, it's hard to explain. I'm... I can't really put it into words, but it's like... That's just how it was in Gen 1, and the fact that they change it... Does, should not be like, oh, that means it wasn't right in Gen 1. Because you have to realize that the reason why Gen 1 is kind of a mess is because they didn't really have... Anything to base it on. Like, they obviously fixed a hell of a lot with Gen 2, but that's because they could look back at Gen 1 and be like... We should change some of these things, they didn't work out so good, you know? But with Gen 1, it's like, they have nothing to base it on, and like, it's not like there was really anything like Pokemon at the time. Like, there's other RPGs, sure, but nothing is. Like, people like to say that Pokemon is very simple, but it's really not. Like, there's so many, like, complicated mechanics with moves and crap. With things like Rage, and, uh, the fact that I went blank just now and can't think of anything is bad, but I assure you they're there. Anyways, we'll fight the last bug character. I'm, like, not paying attention to the fights at all, but that's because I'm getting lucky and nothing's really stomping me like that freaking Alakazam. It's funny how the level, you know, 16, or level 18 Mewtwo it gave me no problem, but then level 15 Alakazam with Crunch just destroyed me. And you might not have... And if you noticed during the sped-up portion of last part, there was a Hitmonlee with Zap Cannon, which, like, freaking destroyed me, because, like, he kept not missing! Zap Cannon is a 50-50 shot. And he hit like five or s five out of six times, and it was really annoying. 
Because it's like, I can't do anything about this. Because it's instant paralyzed. And that's Hibon's lead thing, is that he's kind of slow. But, like, what does that matter if he just doesn't fucking miss? And paralyzes me! Then I'm slower! Speaking of which, paralyzed. Being paralyzed has a 25% chance of making you not be able to hit. But, a thing that people commonly seem to forget with these games. I don't know why this is... Like, I, I know this is... this. Jeez, uh, I can't speak. This actually isn't, uh, like, uncommon knowledge, but people don't seem to know how much paralysis affects you. Paralysis cuts your speed by 75% up until, like, uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon, where now it only cuts it by 50%, but paralysis in these games is incredibly good because... Being cut to like only 25% of your speed basically is like you're going last no matter what. Like, Slow Bro can paralyze like Alakazam and he's probably moving first because like it's just such a huge speed decrease. Like, it's actually kind of surprising how much of a speed decrease it is. Oh crap. Speaking of speed decrease, hopefully that shouldn't be enough. Wait. Okay, now I know the randomizer has affected certain moves. Icy Wind always lowers your speed, but that didn't actually lower my speed there. Which means that something is affected in the numbers. I'm guessing they like... But wait! Zed Cannon always paralyzed me. Maybe... Maybe... No, because that doesn't make any sense. I was going to say that maybe... The chance of speed drop is dictated by the same thing that makes AI miss with moves like Thunder Wave, but if that's the case, then the AI shouldn't have paralyzed me with Zapkin every time. Unless he just got hella lucky, which I don't know. At this point, I really don't know anymore. These games are... I don't know how to describe it, but when you start messing with stuff, it's just weird. That would do like two. Or it could do six because it crits like a jerk. I ain't confused no more, baby. Let's crunch ya. Crunch a lunch ya. I don't know why I'm saying that a lot. I guess it's kind of fun. Hello, Dunsparce. You got a hell of a lot of HP, so I'll just pain split that. Uh, I think Glare is like a... I forget what Glare's accuracy in these games are. I think it's 80% or 85% in the first couple gens. And then they changed it to 90. And they eventually changed it to 100. Oh, I should be using Triple Kick. And it's kind of one of those funny things, because I think I already mentioned this in one of the earlier randomizers, but I find it hilarious how Thunder Wave used to be, like, the go-to move, because it always paralyzes and it doesn't miss. And then Glare was like, well, it paralyzes ground types, but it's got, like, 80% accuracy, so, you know, don't rely on it. But nowadays, it's like, well, Glare doesn't miss anymore, but of all things, freaking... Thunder Wave now only has 90% accuracy, which is just incredible to think about. You know? Wow, Dunsparce gave nothing. Do 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 do! It's just kind of one of those funny things, you know? Anyways, yeah, yeah, yeah. We beat Bugsy. Oh, where is this Pokemon are using spikes because. Spike Cannon. Didn't I just. You know what? Actually. Ooh, I don't actually remember. You know what? I'm gonna do something. So, let's get out of here. Let's go heal. Big whoop, whatever. Doop -a -doo -doo. And I'm actually gonna. I'll do this actually later because I'm not really doing any fights for the rest of the episode. Oops, I pressed B. So, basically, we're just gonna go into Ilex Forest. We're gonna catch the far fetched. Catch the far fetched. We're gonna deal with the far fetched. Get cut. And, uh, I, we might catch an HM Slave or something, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I guess we'll see. Actually, you know what? That part's kind of boring, and I mean, let's be honest, everyone's seen that part. So I'm actually going to save it here. And I will see you guys next time. I'll, when I'm... Oh, what? You're friends with receptionists, and you found, saw Wigglytuff and it made you mad? Uh, sure, buddy. Whatever you say, Kate.
developer. Uh, so yeah, when I come back, we'll deal with all the farfetch stuff, we'll get cut, we'll grab stuff, uh, maybe I'll catch something, I don't know. Uh, and I'll check up Spike Cannon. I think Spike Cannon in this game is only 10 power, which is actually really weak. But honestly, I might use it just because it doesn't miss. Which right now is kind of a big deal. Anyways, yeah. We'll see you guys next time. See you later.